Alright, so we're flying from Sugarland to Austin Executive. We're about 20 miles out and we're flying the profile of the RNAV, although we're not actually flying the RNAV. This seems like a good opportunity to show manifold pressure and airspeed coming in for a landing, which a lot of people have been asking before. So, gonna set up, I've got a new camera set up here, uh, I guess you can see it right here, that is gonna show my airspeed, manifold pressure, and basically everything else I look at during landing. And so, this will give you a, a hopefully more accurate understanding of what I'm doing. You'll see me pull and push power in as I get closer. And so, I'll be back with you in a minute. We'll start flying the final. November 5, Bravo, Bravo. Radar service is terminated. You can keep your code. Contact Austin Executive Tower. Have a good All right, I'll keep my code over to Tower. Thanks, bye, Bravo, Bravo. Okay, I'm going to talk to Tower, and then we're coming up on the first fix of the, uh, of the final on this RNAV. Hey, 6-1 Victor, uh, following uh, Skyhawk, uh, clear for the up. So 3-1, this is calling Victor. Executive Tower, Malibu, 715, Bravo, Bravo, 14 to the southeast, visual, 3-1. Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, Executive Tower, report 5 mile final, runway 31. Alright, report 5 mile final, 31, 5, Bravo, Bravo. Alright, so we're, if we were flying the RNAV, we would cross Sirmu at or above 2100. We're at 2300 now. I'm gonna go ahead and start the second camera. Alright, there we go. We're about to make the turn at Sirmu. All right, we are runway. Go ahead and throw it in approach mode. All right, we owe them a call at five mile final. All right, seven miles out. On initial contact, you November. Austin Executive Towers, information November, time 2050, wind 320 at 10, visibility. 320 at 10, alright, that's good. Executive Towers, Cal 413 at the Sierra, 8 miles, city, with information November, inbound, my end is full stop. 413 at the Sierra, Executive Towers, report 5 miles east of the airport. Report 5 miles to the east, 413 at the Sierra. Tower Malibu, 5 Bravo Bravo, crossing Kitsu. Malibu, 5 Bravo Bravo, runway 31, clear to land. 31, clear to land, 5 Bravo Bravo. Alright, our diamond's halfway down, we're going to go ahead and drop the gear first. Once the gear's down and we've gotten the benefit of that slowing down, we're going to throw in the first notch of flaps, which we can do up to 165 knots, so... Easy to go ahead and do that, I'm going to pull the power back a hair. Probably about 23, 22. We're going to look for power we can keep in for a while, so yeah, probably 22, down, right around 130, let's see how much we slow down here, we might need to pull more power. Alright, we're slowing down still, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the next flaps in, pull our power back to 20, and now we're chasing the diamond a little bit, so we got extra energy to bleed off, so I'm just going to wait and see how this impacts us. I probably pulled out a little bit too much here. But we're going to let it slow down a little more. Catch the diamond. Alright. When in doubt, I tend to leave it as is. I'm glad I did, because we're going to bleed off some more of this airspeed as it goes up to catch the diamond again. And we're gonna go... Executive power, Skyhawk 413 Echo Sierra, right, drop 5 miles to the flaps. Autopilot yeah. off. Go ahead and get a little more on the center line. Right down. 
Felt good, not on center line, but close. And we're pretty easily going to be off the first stop here. Now is the five Bravo Bravo. Continue on the runway left at the end. Contact Cogda. Left at the end. Over to ground five Bravo Bravo. What a waste! It was a pretty perfect landing and off on time, and then go to the end. All right. Well, after a couple of not so great landings earlier today, I'm glad we ended on a uh, on a high note. Traffic is going to go around for only separation. Make right traffic in the portion. Go around right traffic. Just going to be. Uh, hope they didn't do the go around because of me. 